Childhood neurodevelopmental disorders such as autism, spectrum disorders, and fragile X syndrome are currently considered disorders of the synapse. And while much weight has been focused on the role of metabotropic glutamate receptors in these disorders, not as much attention has been paid to the ionotropic glutamate receptors, NMDA, APA, and kinase receptors. While I was research associate at Hunter College, I studied the molecular neurobiology of fragile X syndrome using mouse models, and my studies found that NMDA receptors are expressed at abnormally high levels in hippocampal neurons. Subsequently, a student friend of mine, Lisa Baker, repeated these studies, and I thought this is interesting and started reading a lot more about the role of ionotropic glutamate receptors in fragile X and autism spectrum disorders. At that time, I was lucky to be invited to contribute a review to current neuropharmacology and was happy to have the approval of Dr. Jason Shepard, who is an assistant professor at the University of Utah, and Professor Eric Hollander, who is an expert in a worldwide authority on treatment of autism spectrum disorders and development of new treatments for autism spectrum disorders, we decided to focus on different parts on genetic studies in humans which implicate ionotropic glutamate receptors, on human clinical studies, on post-mortem studies in humans, cell culture and animal models, and we present all of these studies in the review and we discuss the utility of ionotropic glutamate receptors and the proteins which they interact with for drug targets in autism spectrum disorders and fragile X syndrome. And this is hopefully very useful for development of new treatments for autism spectrum disorders which are quite common and currently not many treatments are available for the core symptoms.